Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we dive in the world of retro gaming with the focus of one of the most beloved handheld consoles of all time, the Game Boy Advance SP. Recently, there has been a huge resurgence in retro gaming, especially during the pandemic when new consoles like the PlayStation 5 were nowhere to be found. People started digging into their old collections and older consoles have been making a massive comeback. On the flip side, the current handheld gaming market has been a bit weird. Sure, we have options like the PlayStation Portal, but you need the PlayStation 5 to use it. And it's essentially a streaming device. The Nintendo Switch has been fantastic, but it has been around since 2017. And it's starting to show its age in terms of power and performance. Plus, if you don't have a stable internet connection, you're out of luck because many Switch games require updates to function properly. Then we have the category of Windows handheld gaming consoles. They look cool and pack a punch power-wise, but the battery life is meh at best. And let's be real, using Windows 11 with a touchscreen or just a controller, it's horrible. So with truly no pocketable handheld consoles in the market, many gamers are returning to the classics. And that's where this bad boy comes in. But there has been one thing that has always been a letdown on retro Nintendo handhelds, the screens. Today we're going to explore whether it's worth it upgrading your Game Boy SP screen with a aftermarket IPS screen. Let's start with the pros of upgrading your Game Boy Advanced SP screen. Pro number one, you don't need to fork out the money for a Game Boy Advanced SP AGS 101 model. The AGS 101 has better screens than the original AGS 001, but they are also more expensive and way harder to find. Pro number two, the IPS screen upgrade looks fantastic. The colors are vibrant and the brightness is a massive improvement over the older screen. Pro number three, nowadays it's nearly a drop-in experience. There is no soldering required because most of them also function on touch. So you don't need a lot of tools, just a screwdriver set and some patience. Pro number five, it's just an amazing handheld, especially with the new screen. It breeds new life into your console, making it more enjoyable to use. Pro number six, you can also replace the shell, like I did, and the customization options are endless. You can make the Game Boy Advance SP look like however you want. Now let's talk about the cons of upgrading your Game Boy Advance SP screen. Con number one is that you will sacrifice on battery life. The new screen, especially at higher brightness levels, will drain your battery faster than the original. Con number two, even the AGS 001 consoles these days are really expensive. So if you don't have one already, you're investing quite a bit to get your hands on one. And con number three is after buying the expensive console, you'll also need to fork over some money for the screen and eventually everything starts to add up. Alternatively, you could also buy a Linux gaming handheld for about half of the price. The only difference is, is that you can't use your cartridges, but you can load ROMs onto it. These can be a more cost-effective solution for some gamers. Another alternative would be buying a Nintendo DS Lite. These can be found for much cheaper than the Game Boy Advance SP on eBay. So is it worth it to upgrade your Game Boy Advance SP screen to a IPS aftermarket screen? Well, it depends what you most value in gaming. If you are a diehard fan of the Game Boy Advance SP and you want the best possible screen for it, then absolutely, the upgrade is 100% worth it. But if you're looking for a more budget-friendly option just to play Nintendo games, and especially games from the Game Boy Advance SP era or the Game Boy Advance era in general, or you are concerned about battery life, you might want to explore the alternatives. For me, upgrading the screen has brought a whole new level of enjoyment to my retro gaming sessions. I love the vibrant colors and the fact that I can customize the look of my console. It's a personal project that definitely paid off. I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, please. And let me know in the comments, what do you think about upgrading the screens on the older Game Boys? And I'll see y'all 
and the next one.